Now let's move on to discuss muscle terminology and the naming of muscles. We'll discuss origins and insertions of muscles, actions, and muscle terms. The naming of muscles are based on various characteristics, including the location of the muscle, the size of the muscle, and the number of origins the muscle has. Location. Muscles are named based on location, such as the tibialis anterior muscle, which is located near the front of the tibia bone. The muscle size. Maximus means larger and minimus means smaller. Examples include the pectoralis major and minor muscles of the chest. Also the number of origins the muscles have. The quadriceps femoris has four origins. The origins and insertions of muscles. Muscles have an origin which is usually attached to a stationary bone. The thick portion of the muscle, which in this case is a calf muscle, is between the insertion point and the origin, and it's called the muscle belly or gaster. Muscles are attached to movable bones by a tendon, such as the Achilles tendon in this example. The insertion of a muscle is the point of attachment that's more movable. Muscles are arranged in groups throughout the body. Each group moves or supports the bones and organs in that region. For example, muscles of the lower extremity move and support the leg. Muscles are also named based on function. Muscle groups are usually arranged into antagonistic pairs, each one performing the opposite function. For example, flexors and extensors or abductors and adductors. The rectus femoris, for example, is part of the quadriceps, and it's involved in extending the leg. The biceps femoris is part of the hamstrings, and it flexes the leg. The tibialis anterior dorsiflexes the foot, whereas the gastrocnemius, which is part of the calf muscle, plantar flexes the foot. Muscles are also named based on their depth within the body, such as internus for an internal muscle and superficialis for a superficial muscle. Muscles can be named based on shape, orbicularis for a circular muscle, pyramidal for a pyramid-shaped muscle, and serratus for a serrated-shaped muscle. Other names for specific attributes include longissimus for the longest, major for the larger, Maximus for the largest, and Alba for white. The following are some specific muscle terminology. Muscle tone. Muscle tone is defined as the continuous and passive partial contraction of a muscle. And these contractions do not produce enough contraction force to produce movement of the body. For example, the muscles that are involved in maintaining posture. These muscles must produce enough tension to maintain the upright position. Muscle hypertrophy. This is defined as an increase in the size of a muscle as opposed to an increase in the number of muscle cells. During weightlifting, muscles are repeatedly trained with enough weight to produce significant tension. This leads to an increase in the energy reserve of the muscle as well as an increase in myofibril, thick, and thin filament numbers. This is an example of muscle hypertrophy. Muscle atrophy is defined as a decrease in the mass of muscle or a wasting of muscular tissue. When the muscle atrophies, there's a decrease in the tone of the muscle, the size of the muscle, and the power that muscle can produce. Muscle atrophy can be overcome with exercise and physical therapy. Certain diseases as well as immobility due to an accident can lead to muscle atrophy.